Hey y'all, I'm Erica, time to shrink VSG. I'm actually right outside of my doctor's office. I am pre-op. I need three months of classes and um, nutrition and diet and all of the things that they require up front. So I'm going in for my first group nutrition class here in a minute and I thought I'd go ahead and take my time right now and record a little intro. So, um, again, Erica, I'm 40 years old. I am a mom of three kids, um, teenagers, and have an amazingly wonderful husband. My husband and my kids are super thin. They have no issues. Um, very, very active. And I have kids that are in travel soccer, and my husband seems to be able to eat anything and just stay skinny. Me, not so much. So, I've been battling my weight. I guess I'd say I gained the college 20 um, in college, and so that put me at around 150. So I still, you know, I was still okay. I was a little overweight for my body size. I'm five three and a half, um, but not really that big of a deal. And then after I had my kids, I kind of went up into the 200s. Then I worked really hard at the gym, got myself back down to 150, super fit, super muscular. And then life kind of, the bottom fell out. Um, I'm a nurse by trade and had an incident of lifting a patient, did everything right, but somehow ended up with a back injury. Um, about six months post back injury, still wasn't getting better. I was having more and more symptoms all over my body. Turns out they diagnosed me with fibromyalgia. After that, I packed on the weight. So I'm 265 as of my first appointment at the doctor. I'd gotten 11 pounds off so far in a month and a half. Then this weekend, I went out of town with my hubby. I ate all the things. All the things y'all I had stopped drinking alcohol because it's empty calories yep I had frozen margaritas I had wine um, not good so back home getting ready to go to the doctor's office and I'm gonna get back on my plan for my my eating right now my plan is that I am going to be doing a smoothie in the morning that's basically a green smoothie with lots of spinach and some fruit and I use cashew milk then for lunch I'm gonna aim to have a salad a big salad with some kind of protein on it um, try to I feel like I want to get my nutrition level as good as I can prior to the surgery so want to eat the protein want to get plenty of fluids. I'm trying to work on all those little things. I've been stalking YouTube. All of you VSG YouTubers are a godsend to me. I am so, so excited that you are out there. Truthfully, I've never really looked at YouTube in my whole life. Something just told me to search to see if there was stuff out there. And oh my gosh, the content. I already feel like I know all of y'all. I've been binging on um all of it. I Voodoo Queen and Esther per, Perforce, is that how you say it? Those are three that I've really, really connected with. Um, Lauren Losing, all of those have just been, meant the world to me and make me feel more confident in my decision to have VSG, to know what's coming. I am a huge perfectionist, y'all, but with that for me comes an all or nothing type thing so I'll do all the things and I'll be perfect and if I mess up then I'm like oh okay I'm I don't say oh I messed up I'm gonna jump back on no no I just stop and let it go and it doesn't make any sense and I know better but that's what I do so I've got to work on figuring out how to not do the binging at night after everybody's asleep I'm starting to try some different things, I'm trying to do um, hot tea with some collagen in it to give me that a tiny bit of protein, but also the hot tea you have to drink slowly, and sometimes that helps, sometimes not. I just get these intense, intense cravings that I cannot let go of, like just 
it almost gets to a point of anxiety because I really want to eat at night. I don't know why that is, but that's a big thing I'm going to have to conquer, I know. Um, Green Machine talked about doing meditation, that she did meditation at night a little bit when that happened. So I might try that. Um, anyways, a little more background on me. I have been a nurse for years and years. I'm not able to work anymore. I'm actually on disability with my fibromyalgia. I also suffer from major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. I am pretty stable with that right now, but I've had, just to be real, because those of y'all that are real just really hit me and I don't want to hide anything. So, you know, I had had some suicide attempts, some self-harming, some history of just major, major depression that took me out of my life, made me feel like I wasn't worth it, made me feel like my family would be better without me. Struggling with this fibromyalgia, um, I used to be a go, 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 go. I used to be the person everybody came to for stuff. I'm a people pleaser, I am a servant. I want to do, do, do for people. And the fibromyalgia has taken that away from me. Um, I have real, one of the goals for me of this weight loss surgery is to lose the weight to get some of the pain, some of the weight off of my joints to see if it will help my pain. And I'm really hoping that that will be part of it. I just, I really wanna get healthy. I, I used to be a gym rat and now I'm, I spend most of my time in bed most days other than getting the kids where they need to go. So I have a big mountain to climb. I've got to figure out how to get some physical activity in and I'm starting to work on that a little bit, but I need to get more serious about it. I know a lot of people have said one of their biggest regrets is that they didn't start exercising ahead of time. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm trying to get a plan together. In truth I have not started it so I guess that'll be one of my next steps okay it's long enough intro probably I'm super super excited to be having VSG surgery probably in September and super super excited to join this community and uh, be able to vent to y'all and to get ideas from y'all and to just be part of this so I'm just gonna end with you are enough. You are worthy. You can be an overcomer. That's to myself and that's to all of you. We can overcome this um, illness of obesity and go into a remission and be healthy. So you are enough. You are worthy. You are an overcomer. Bye y'all.